Hello and thanks for, for watching. Um, I've seen a few videos lately uh, of uh, this kind of a project and well I say a few I've seen two lately um, but I thought I'd bring up my own version of it um, especially now during the uh, corona outbreak there's uh, plenty of time to do all sorts of things so I brought out the old filming gear and I thought I'd do a quick video of this so I've been playing keyboards in a band now for four odd years and I trigger samples a lot live we do a lot of samples um, and I've been through a lot of different ways of triggering them. I've used uh, a touch, touch screen on a tablet, I've used uh, an Akia MPX, and I've used uh, Ableton Live as well as Reason triggering pads. So they're, they're all great. I just hate using laptops and tab uh, the tablets on stage. Nothing but problems with them on stage. The rest of the time they're fine. The MPX is a great little device, just doesn't have enough memory to hold my plethora of samples. Um, so I came up, and I, was, I didn't come up with this, I was fishing around online and I came across Sampler Box, which is a Raspberry, power, Raspberry Pi powered sampler. And um, this crappy looking cardboard box here is my version of it. Um, well, it's not my version, it's, uh, it's running the... Uh, the... Uh, it's running a modified version of Sampler done by Hans. Um, there's a couple of different versions out there, but the one that I found works best for me is Hans' version. Um, and that's what this is all based off. Uh, so I shall bring around, give you a good look at this. So what this funny looking cardboard box is, there is a Raspberry Pi in here, uh, down there, you can see him right there, the Raspberry Pi. That's a 3B plus, and that, is powered, uh, so it's got the running a version of Raspbian and uh, stripped down and running sampler box on it. Um, I have a screen, a I think that's a 16 by 1602 LCD screen, some buttons to control it, so you got menu down and up, so you can select what preset you want. Um, then these are just a couple of uh, trim pots. One does, what does one do? One does contrast, the other does screen brightness. So that's all part of this, pretty simple. A lot of these uh, boxes use them, and that's all my wiring. The back panel here, 3D printed, I printed it for a Xynthian, which is another Raspberry Pi powered project, which I never got very far in, but the panel actually works really well. Um, MIDI, I haven't hooked that up yet, so I've just been using a USB to MIDI connection. The two audio, they work. Power, this is how I power it from a 5 volt uh, micro USB. That one there hasn't been hooked up yet, that's going to be my power in the end. I have a extension USB here so I don't have to run, open it up every time to plug stuff in. Um, uh, I've got a small audio DAC in there, which is it's fairly cheap. They were fairly cheap when I bought when I started building this project about two years ago. I've been working on this on and off for a while now. But um yeah, that was about three dollars when I bought it. I think they're about five dollars Australian now. Um, underneath this here, I have my USB, which runs my samples, which is there. So that just has my samples loaded on there in wave format and then they work off that. Um, and then that's just all the wiring is for my my sound out. Um, it's fairly simple. The box itself is only cardboard, it was a prototype. I do have a metal case which has been made up, I just haven't finalised it yet. As you can see it's pretty similar. Um, a few is a slightly bigger uh, and it's got a few layers I need sorting out but otherwise it's pretty good. I've got the same controls on the back um, so I'll have to have a look at that again. So I had that made up for me. So I just have to, once I finish a few of these things here, like I want to build proper PCBs for it all, so that this wiring isn't all a mess and things like that. Um, and then I'll transfer it into here. So that's my goal. And here we have the sample box all hooked up. It's running into my Axiom 49, uh, M Audio Axiom 49 MIDI keyboard controller. I will switch it on, there's the power button on the back. Just takes a quick moment to boot up.
All right, that's now booted up. It's now loading. There's my first lot of samples, which is intro and TIM. You press the up, and it goes to number two, which is Ophisa, Slave State, Drowning, and Programmed. programmed. And then we've got Loading Pads. This is the whole pad sound, this one. Um, the menu button works the same way. So I've got Volume, MIDI Channel 10, but this is set up to run off my trigger pads off to the side. Uh, renew USB or MIDI, so if you've got to plug something in new, you can press the Renew and it will find you your new device you plugged in. Or MIDI Mute, if you want to turn off the MIDI so it stops receiving signals, you can do that as well. Play Chord, you can get it to play different chords. Um, with one note, you can play a chord. Use what scale, and then back to normal. So here we are, now I've got the sound all set up, because I forgot to plug it in. Um, as you can see, it's all... Uh, it's all back to Tim intro. So I press my pad. So now when I press my pad. samples as I, as I require them. I can also change through the things, presets. Nothing's working, nothing's working. And I have that set up as my stop. And this is the volume for, this is the volume for samples. And that's the volume for my actual keys, but they're on different MIDI channels. So that's how I've got this set up. Um, it works pretty well. If I go to uh, keys, so now this is set to, what should this set to? Yeah. Drowning glass, and I can do this. So I've got those kinds of sounds, and you can. down because my sound card in here is only really cheap and it's not hugely powerful I do get some distortion if I play too many keys so if I go I don't seem to be getting it now but um, sometimes I do This is how I have my MIDI sampler box hooked up. So there you go. It's just a quick live review of how I've got this all set up and how the uh, sampler box works. It is a Raspberry Pi powered uh, sample player. The samples are all loaded onto a USB stick in, uh, in WAV format, which is pretty simple. You can go through and put loops on things as well. That's how my... Uh, samples for stuff like the glass and it just keeps going there's no um fade out on it so i've hooked up a loop to it so it just keeps going so i thought i'd give you just a quick overview of that it's a great little device great powerful little thing um so yeah it, it, it's very useful tool i've been using it on stage and um yeah i, I want to make a proper box for a proper Thing. This thing has been with me on tour, that's why it looks garbage, it's been stuffed in my baggage, carted through through uh, across the country. I took it to England with me, it's come back to England as well. Um, still works fine, just looks like trash, but it works. Um, but yeah, until next time, adios.